run every down, yeah. he's going to screw up the handoff. At some, point. <laughs> at some point, yes. Larry's in Stafford. What's going on, Larry? Hey, good morning, gentlemen. I have my uh, blueberry red bull this morning, and it's Friday, so we need to talk a little bit. Seth, you're absolutely right it's overblown, because number one, Jalen Peter clean up all that running game mess and go ask Najee Harris for last week. Now that we got Jimmy Ward and Jalen Peter back there and Joe Toy and them are starting to play linebacker like they're supposed to, we're going to be able to handle that run game, man. And Domenico always schemes up something special for these hyper-athletes, man. So I expect B. John to, be, to do what B. John does, but uh, this is a game that I'm going into, like you said, son, that I haven't had to worry about the Texans in a long time. We've got a team that's going in there with a legitimate top 10 quarterback. And anytime you can take your quarterback on the road with a defense that's been playing the way they've been playing the last couple of weeks, you got a chance in that old dirty ATL, which I already told everybody we're going to get their ass today like we got this bird last week. Now, Seth, you were talking about that S2 test, right? And see, here's the thing about standardized testing. See, I remember when I was coming out of high school, man, and they put that SAT in front of me, and I didn't even study the night before or nothing like that. And they just told us the number that we needed to get get our scholarship. So I go right in the test, man, and I make exactly the number that I needed. And so then everybody thinks that that's an indication of what you're going to do when you get into college or how you got to perform. Your boy never flunked a class in college, man. And he was able to stay eligible every single time it was time to go and strap up. So here's the thing about standardized testing. They didn't give us all the books in the high schools that I went to. They kind of kept some of those secrets from us. But I tell you what, man, when you get out there, man, and you've been trained right and you think right and you think smart, you can go out there and do whatever you want to do. That's why I'm a big C.J. Stroud fan because I never believed that S2 mess. Or that a wonder lick mess, man, because if you tell me that she got a big booty and then she got big breasts, I'm going to go with both the big booty and breasts, A and B. So that's how you do that thing, man. Last thing before I let y'all go, don't worry about the Astros, man. Just because the Twins went 4-2 against us in the regular season, and I know Carlos is coming to town, we got some funny ass because we've been there and done that, fella. I told y'all I had that Red Bull. The rest of y'all ass need to wake up and I'll haul. <laughs> Damn right you did. I don't know where that was going. I love the Larry standardized test. Yes. Is, this, yes. This, is this a big booty? Are these big boobs? You passed, my son. Dude, things, things I didn't think I would hear when Larry called in this morning. And another thing about standardized testing. <laughs> oh, you know what, though? Okay, so obviously, I think there's a lot.